All right, let's troubleshoot this issue where garbage disposal, when you turn it on, it doesn't turn on, it doesn't have a power. So what do you do step by step to troubleshoot the issue, electrical issue, when it comes to this problem? In many cases, it's very, very simple. So you have, many of you will have this type of a electrical outlet and a lot of you will go take a look at your breaker to check if the breaker is off or not and in many cases you will realize that the breaker is on but when you flip the switch on and off you don't have a power uh, and garbage disposal does not work and many of you will have this tester to plug in and you will turn the switch on and off and it doesn't come on in that case many of you will also try to reset it and you're not able to reset it because this thing can only be reset when the switch is in on position. So if you have uh, this setup, we're just assuming that this is the outlet for my disposal. In reality, it's going to be below the sink down there. But let's just assume this is the case and this is my um, outlet for the garbage disposal. So, and it has tripped. Many people don't realize and they just have the switch off and try to reset it but they're not able to reset it and it doesn't have a power but all you got to do is flip the switch on try to reset it there you go it will reset okay and and if the problem still persists m many of you will have a GFCI outlet like this that has a light in the corner right here which will be solid red or blinking red in that case, it's pretty much time to replace the outlet. But if it doesn't have anything like that and you try to turn on the switch, next step would be, okay, you turn on the switch, you try to reset the outlet, GFCI, but it still doesn't reset. What do you do in that case? So very first step would be to turn off the breaker for the disposal disposal has its own dedicated circuit you're going to turn it off we're going to unscrew this out, uh, switch to define if we do have a power going through this switch what we're going to do is just take off these two screws and once we do that we're not going to pull it we're just going to slightly pull it out just like this so we can see power that is coming into the switch and going out and we will need the power tester pretty much tester like this we will go back to the breaker turn the breaker on and when when the breaker is on we're going to come with a tester and test the uh, uh, wire that is coming into the outlet and then wire that is going out to the GFCI. We're gonna test that. And if it doesn't have a power, we'll turn it on. And when switch is in on position, we're gonna do the same thing. Now we know 100% that the switch is in working condition and it's sending power to the GFCI and it could be time to replace the GFCI. But there are times where you have power going into the switch and no matter if you turn it on and off, uh, when it's in on position, power just won't go through the switch. And in that case, it's time to replace the switch. So these are the only instances where you have to replace either switch or GFCI to get the circuit working. Um, but that's the very simple video I just wanted to upload for many people who are trying to troubleshoot and solve this issue. So I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.